<laughs> this is one of the most effective punches in a real fight. It's called a body jab, and it's widely taught as a great way to stop aggressive opponents. But it's almost never used in modern karate. In fact, it doesn't even score a point in the Olympic karate rules. Yet some of the world's greatest fighters use it all the time. And guess what? So did the old karate masters, because they knew how well it works. In today's video, I'm gonna revive the lost body jab and then pressure test it in live sparring. <laughs> My first step is to learn it from someone who actually knows how to fight. So I need to go down, go in and go back. So I don't do this and you're gonna punch me, right? Ah, okay. A lot of this is Omar Buish. He's been fighting people longer than I've been alive and is considered a living legend in the world of mixed martial arts. If anybody can teach me the right way to body jab, it's Omar. Okay. <laughs> go up. You punch with the other one? Go. How do you get uh, power in this technique? Drop step. You call it the drop step. You drop your weight on it. So you go up and you drop your weight. Drop step. And then you also bend at the waist. Yeah, you bend at the waist so you really small. Okay. Both targets. Uh huh. You just go up and you go down. You mm. push it. Let's try it. Okay, so up. so if I do it, I will go one. Yes. And then okay, I lift your, lift your shoulder. My shoulder. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Both, one, now and then I step. Bang, yeah, there you go. You do I go it. straight from here to here, yeah. or do I pull yeah. it back? No, don't pull it back. Okay, one, and then Boom, drop. there you go. A lot of power, man. Ah. A lot of power. Okay, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you uh, turn this movement into like a combination? Something? Yeah, of course. I can do you go, have any good I combo? can go high, go low with it, and I come high again. High, you come up, you can go low with it. Ah. <laughs> like that. One, down, two, punch, three, and up. Four and up. Five. You almost turn your hand. Yeah, you just get your shoulder up. That's okay. going to be your defense, right? So if I, if you punch me in the body, yeah, with this one. Oh, okay. Like Fast. this. You need to get your shoulder up, right? Where's ah. you gonna get here? So you get to drop like this, and now you save it, right? <laughs> okay. Now you got it. Right. Because if you turn it like this, you're gonna get hit. Ah, so you want to turn the shoulder yeah. over? Over, yeah. This way. Yeah. That's your defense. Okay. <laughs> I can feel it. Even. Because you know, one or two is yeah. fine, but yeah. when I start to get more and more, I... <laughs> and it's a fast one. You can go in, you can touch it, you can go back out. That's how you do the body jab. Thank you so much. You. Now that I knew how to get it right, it was time to practice until I couldn't get it wrong. And my tool of choice was the makiwara from Okinawa, the birthplace of karate. I punched and I punched and I punched some more until I slowly started to realize that a board doesn't hit back. Unfortunately, my little brother Oliver does. <laughs> Believe me, I tried. I tried so hard, but I just couldn't find an opening. Plus, he kept using it on me and I hadn't learned how to defend against it. But then again, he is a professional fighter. And yep, that kick hit me right on the ear. I kept trying, and I kept failing. Oliver was just too much for me to handle right now, and I couldn't get the body jab to work. Done! I felt like I was letting down the old karate masters. But then something changed. As we switched partners and I started sparring other people, I finally started to land a couple of body jabs. I'm not saying they were perfect, and I did eat a couple of low kicks in the process, but I did actually land a few. Wow, I was on cloud nine. I know this might seem weird, but the feeling of accomplishing something that you've been practicing towards is amazing. Even if it's something silly as landing a body jab. And here's the crazy part. Once I landed one body jab, I started landing two and then three and four. And before I knew it, it was a natural part of my arsenal. I guess the Japanese saying is true. Shippai wa sei kono moto. Failure is the stepping stone of success. But despite landing tons of body jabs, there was one thing that was really bothering me. I still don't know the best way to defend against it. To find out, I decided to ask my brother Oliver how he used it on me and why I wasn't able to use it on him. Well, first and foremost, what you should not do 
is to pull your hand down because now you gotta Bam! follow up with that one, right? If you move your hands, you need to replace them with your shoulders because if you punch now, I can shoulder all this and ah. I can come back. At this point, Oliver showed me something that blew my mind. Actually, shoulder roll and, and use what's called a Philly shell or a Philly stance. This was the same posture he used against me in sparring. It's known as the Philly shell and it was made famous by boxers such as Floyd Mayweather. Even Bruce Lee described it in his Tao of Jeet Kune Do. And believe it or not, its roots can be traced all the way back to Bubishi, the Bible of Karate, where it's known as the sword and shield stance. In other words, this is an ancient karate posture. If you throw a hook from this side, I need to catch it here, right? But mostly I'm gonna use my, my lead shoulder to block everything and I use my rear hand for the counters. And now it's my turn to learn it. Okay, let's go into the cage. Yeah, bounce here so you can feel you can absorb these punches to the body. <laughs> you hit me on the nerve, <laughs> right by the elbow. I <laughs> aimed at it. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. We need to do something about this. You're okay. opening up a bit too much, too much of the karate blocks. Mm. Yeah. This is getting freaky. <laughs> no flapping with the arms now. There's no doubt that the Philly shell is an incredibly effective and difficult defense. Shoulder across. <laughs> but something was holding me back. I was feeling constricted. That's when Oliver showed me something that changed everything. You come with elbow on the inside, yeah. Ah. And if I'm a bit further out, you can use this part of your hand for a hammer fist. Bam! Yeah, actually a pretty strong uh, strike. You can try to get some power in that one. Yeah. Wow! Right? Hammer fist. Close. These combinations are excellent to combine with that Philly shell. Yeah. And they're super powerful. And if you guys want to see more ways to connect traditional and modern karate, check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Oliver. You're welcome. For helping me understand how to defend the body jump. <laughs> Remember to train your abs. Train hard, good luck, and have fun. Okay. <laughs>